Hey everybody. Hello. Welcome to episode 29 of Super Loud Sunday Tea Book. You better squeeze in your half okay. cut off on Instagram. <laughs> hey Hi. Fernanda. Hello Joseph on YouTube. Igor. Hey everyone. And hello Instagram. Here we are, episode 29. The last of black tea. Mm, that's mm. right. I so, had traumatized her from the loud music. Yeah. Anyway. She'll be all right. Now everything's calm again, I think. Um, hey, JS, welcome. He's saying hi to everybody on YouTube, everybody on Instagram. Rush over to YouTube because that's where the action is going to really happen. Welcome to episode 29 of Sunday Tea Book. We've got not just Sunday Tea Book ready to rock for you, finishing up black tea today with three amazing teas. I've got a new, fingers crossed, a new format of tea trivia coming up. Okay, um, stuff got fixed in the background. I won't bore you with the details, but I hope I will. I hope I will fascinate you with the new format for Sunday Tea Book Which tea I haven't trivia. seen either. So Nobody's seen it. New. I haven't even seen it because I have to be running alive ah. to actually do it. So that's why I'm crossing my fingers like crazy. <laughs> Johnny Loy on YouTube. Hello. Hello. Serbgak Gutuja on Instagram. I'm sorry I butchered your name, but welcome to the live stream. You're going to want to, I'm telling you, you're going to want to run over to YouTube because we've got black tea for Sunday Tea Book. We've got some tea trivia coming up. Um, it's going to be super fun. What is Sunday Tea Book? If you're just tuning in to figure out what's going on here, um, let me tell you. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sunday Tea Book is, uh, is an idea that you guys, the viewers, gave us to, um, to say, hey, can, we, can you go over something that's really good information but we can't get at in the West because it's not available or it's only in Chinese and we can't read it or the translation's not so good. So that's what we do. We're going over books, papers, and articles that are great, full of great information, and we're going over them live here with you. Go ahead, show them what we're doing. Let us know what you're drinking. Mm. Uh, this is the book we're gonna continue on, uh, continue today. It's called the book is called China Tea, written by my mom Jianli Wu, and. Uh, what? Go ahead. Go ahead. I read while you talk, and I have sometimes people say funny stuff like JS. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's a great book for beginners and more Excellent. advanced tea lovers uh, yeah. alike uh, because it really provides a, a Chinese view on Chinese tea. And mm -hmm. it's a great uh, opportunity for us, especially because we're going through a lot of translations uh, together. It's a great opportunity for us to line up our uh, tea, t tea names, terms in terms of language because yep. uh, behind all the translations and different uh, knowledges and informations there are lots of a cultural difference language per se itself i mean language itself could be tricky oh yeah and uh, lots of interesting things and we also try to throw in a little bit more information what's happening in the chinese tea industry because we are not only uh, a business in canada my mom has been doing tea business in china mm. for the past uh, 25 Ish years yeah. old yeah uh, so uh, quarter that's, century folks so that's pretty valuable i think for a lot of tea drinkers in the west yeah no and i wanted to throw in my two cents too the part one of the reasons we did go ahead and do this i'm just gonna this is a little crooked one of the reasons we did go ahead with sunday tea book is for me over the last five years learning about chinese tea like was like learning through a fire hose from jen and from her mom mostly from jen um, but those little nuances of the language and the culture, they're going to give you guys uh, more power when you're trying to select a good or a great tea. They're going to give you insight and knowledge that is um, background. It's in your toolbox and it becomes part of your own um, tea repertoire, your own tea, your own tea culture, your own tea experience. And I think that's going to be super valuable for you guys. It's been amazing for me. I think if you ask anybody who's been following the series, I think they might agree. Go ahead and ask them offline, however you want, so they can be very frank with you. But I bet you'll find out that's what's going on. Hey, uh, Daniela. Um, so on, um, Daniela. on Instagram, Daniela says uh, she's totally new and uh, from the UK. So uh, thanks for the, uh, and she says we're both great, which make, <laughs> make me blush a little bit. Um, thank thank you. you for that. But I do recommend if you want to watch the whole show, jump on over to YouTube. I'm going to actually say goodbye to Instagram now. 
because um, we're going to head over to YouTube and get on with our tea trivia session. Mr. Flow 1402, welcome to the Instagram. I am about to sign out though, so jump over to our YouTube live. Mm -hmm. We've got tea trivia, we've got a great session on black tea coming up, and we will see you on that side, Instagram. Bye bye for now. So, what did Jaya say that is so funny? He wants us oh, to make a wow face for the, uh, for the emojis. <laughs> For the emojis on the Discord channel, which That's I love. That's such a great idea. Yeah, no, we're, we're gonna. Really need to, I'm gonna throw that up. So for those who don't know what JS is talking about, is there anybody? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, for those of you who don't know what JS was talking about, the Discord invite is in the link down below. I think I was gonna check. I didn't check, yes. but I think I put I it. Think. The invite code is there if you wanna like type that whole thing out. Uh, not very fun, but just click the link below. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You can join our uh, Discord community. It is a group of super cool tea people. And we pop in there every now and then and say a couple things, but I have to really give it to you guys mm. who are a lot of the quote unquote tea tribe is here. You guys make that place so amazing, so special. I love to go in there and see what's going on, see what you're brewing, see what you're cooking, what recipes are going on. Mm -hmm. I love it, I love it. Yes. So thanks for making that awesome. Anybody want to jump in and join the fun? There's the link down below. Um, another quick, somebody is drinking ginger oolong. Oh, D Diversified uh, oh. is drinking ginger oolong. I was drinking Brazilian green for Nanda, Ooh. right? Because she said there's nice. a tea producer in, in her area. Yeah. So that's really cool. I assume it's from like somewhere around your region there, uh, which is plenty hot lately. Right. Oh, and Serbka Gucha joined. I think by yes. the, based on the little um, um, emoji or the icon, I, I think, think that might be Daniela. Yeah. Right? Did I say that right? Anyway, let us know if I got your name right because it does matter. Michelle Shashtak, welcome back. And Cindy, hey. Red tea from Nanoa Mountain this morning. Awesome. Oh, cool. So it looks like a Joseph's here. I don't know if I said hello to Joseph. I don't want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Johnny Loy, I think I said hi, but I say hi again. Oh, let's do a wow face for JS, okay? He can go back and grab it from the report. Are you ready? Ready? Do a wow face. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I want to go to the full screen so he can oh, okay. the bigger and without all the stuff. Okay, ready? Three. <laughs> yeah. You left me hanging. Oh, okay. oh, you want a three count? I'm three, two, one. This so is gonna be totally. This is gonna be totally. I can't remember the cop show with the uh, Danny Glover and that other guy, but um, okay. Is it one, two, three, go, or one, two, three? One, two, three, go in the hand. Okay. Like you just uh, know the tempo and no go. Okay. Here we go, guys. We're doing a wow face for the Discord emojis. I'll be wow. I hope you guys don't mind. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay. I think that was long enough. <laughs> I think oh, that was right, right. one I more, just one more, just to make it easy for him. Okay, one, two. Look how concerned I look. I'm gonna <laughs> You're be. Serious. I'm gonna be wowed in a moment. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Okay, long enough. That's ridiculous. Okay, if we weren't the cutest and maybe weirdest, quirkiest tea couple on YouTube, I think we just jumped over. Look at that scarf. You win. Okay, you win. Just. Anyway, I take a lot of heat for the scarf, guys, but it's a little chilly in this room, like I said, so that's what the scarf is about. Joseph's got some autumn 2020 nakashen going on this morning. Mm. No picture in the Discord today. I did a sad emoji for JS there, too. You can grab that one. <laughs> oh, and it is Daniela, and I did, I think I'm saying it right, uh, hopefully, and, uh, and Fernandez tea does come from the region. JS is drinking a Ruby 18. It's a Taiwanese black tea. Very oh, cool. Very Igor delicious. is uh, rolling on the floor laughing, probably because we're so goofy. All right, guys. I'm Are trying... we going to introduce the tea? Or you are going to... We're going to introduce the tea. I'm so excited to do tea trivia today. I was about to jump to tea trivia. All right, let's... Uh, we're going to give you the little tea reel while she talks about the tea. Actually, you can show them the tea here first, and then I'll jump okay. to the tea reel. We'll jump sure. to the brew cam. And then I'll like transition you so to full size. Mm -hmm. There we go. We're oh, brewing yeah. some... Uh... Oh, yeah. So, no, not oolong. What am I? I'm We're brewing some Dian Hom today, oh, move, which is a black move, tea from focus. Yunnan. Okay. While yes. she concentrates on getting that to snap into focus, it's all looking, oh, looking oh. real good now. Nice, no, no, nice. Yeah. There we go. So stressful because left and right is a different. Right, that's why and, I'm talking. So this is uh, okay. one, of our, one of our other, we told you that traditional Kiman is our go-to black tea, mm -hmm. and that is uh, true. This is one of our other go-to black teas especially for morning. Here's the little reel here with a little background music. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see, I'm just gonna search it up here and 
Yeah, so great value. This is a delicious black tea. Not only value because of its great flavor, but I find, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I find our black tea are a little bit stretchier. And this goes for all of our tea. They're, they have great endurance and great flavor. You know, it's just a byproduct of being quality tea. You're going to get that a little bit more. You can see the additional information about where it's from in the description notes down below. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna flash to some of the close-ups of the tea here with my epically anthemic music here. All right, so cool. So there's the leaf. So you wanna see this whenever you're buying tea. Of course, if you can be there in person and have some tea with the tea vendor, but COVID ain't gonna happen. You wanna see the dry leaf, the brood leaf, which we just saw, and the liquor color uh, nicely displayed so that you know what you're getting into. So that's what we're drinking, Dien Home, And I'm pretty excited. We got a pretty big guy one today, mm -hmm. a little over 100 mil, I think about and, one, 120 uh, mil. In the, in the tea bowl, is uh, 4.5 gram, I think you yeah, measure. Yeah, 4.5 grams. Yeah. And it was the, uh, it's the same thing we always do, guys. I don't usually, uh, we don't usually measure. We don't usually know the, the volume of our guy one. We only know because for um, videos, we know those things, but we, we always advocate intuitive brewing. Mm. which means you kind of put the right amount of tea in the gaiwan based on the size of the gaiwan, based on the tea that you're brewing and all that jazz. So check out all of the videos we have about that. Most recently, our green tea video, which thanks for all you guys. I heard from a lot of you guys. You liked it, so thank you for that. Um, thank you, Jen, for the amazing visuals. <laughs> she did a great job. I mean, let's have a little round of applause for the beautiful And your music. I really work. like that. Yeah, the music. Thank you. Um, and I think now, guys, it's time for us. What do you think? Is it time? I want to see some. Um, do you post worldwide? Yes, we do. I think you mean do we ship worldwide? Because um, <laughs> at first I thought she meant blog posts. But, uh, <laughs> but of course, you don't mean blog posts. I've got to fix my scarf a bit. It's coming undone. Um, yeah, we do ship worldwide. So go ahead and punch in your country and see how it looks. We are doing our best to get the international shipping prices down a bit, but that's tricky. So go ahead and check it out and see if it works for you. Over uh, 70, if it's an international order, over $75, we give you a $25 Canadian, just so you know, shipping credit. So that's what we do to help out with that. Is it tea trivia time? Is anybody interested in tea trivia? I haven't seen any interest in tea trivia at all. Maybe we'll cancel. I have to force them to see the. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's really like a pretty... Um... Give him the brew pan view. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so gorgeous. You really see why it's called Hom Cha. Okay. I was doing a bit of work on tea trivia, speaking of Hom Cha. And uh, you just wiggle wiggle, it's fun okay. to watch. Okay, here, fine. There we go. I was doing some research for the tea right. trivia, because, and I, again, I don't think anybody's really interested in tea trivia, but um, about black tea to get some questions, and I realized the Wikipedia description of Black Hom Cha black tea is uh, the reason it's called black tea in Chinese is because of the color of the leaf. That's what it says, but that's not right, right? It's, it's because of the liquor. The liquor. Mm. Yeah, I'm just saying the Wikipedia has it dead wrong. So I spent about one and a half seconds trying to figure out how to correct them, and then I was like, oh, too much trouble. No, uh, here is the actually that's a good, uh, a very good uh, topic because let us know what you think because as uh, tri not trivia, sorry. Wikipedia, oftentimes people use that as a source of a authority. authority kind mm -hmm. of thing. But uh, like if you're Got writing papers and thesis, you know those are the bottom of the list to use mm. as a reference. And with the tea, it's actually a lot of misunderstanding, like how they talk about Shui Xian or stuff. Sometimes I look there. So we have been talking about doing a video series, uh, something like is Wikipedia is a Wikipedia about tea, right? That mm. kind of a theme, so that cool. we go through uh, Wikipedia, sort of step by step, or find our pain points and yeah, and, just and expose we read them. that, uh, and it's almost like a, a finding things that doesn't is not right, and right. we each do that kind of thing. So let us know if you think mm. that's a good idea. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment down below that says, "Hey, I'd love to see," or maybe you'd love to know which of those Wikipedia sources are um, either a little off or totally fallacious. It might be handy. Um, mm. And it was the funny thing about that particular comment about the home cha and relationship to the leaf color or the, and not talking about the liquor, it was sourced to a book. 
a, oh. a Western book. So I was thinking of fixing it and sort of pointing it to Jian Li's book, which clearly says the difference and why, which is actually not bad. If you remember when we started Black Tea in Jian Li's book a couple episodes ago, it mentioned that it, there's a difference. Westerners use the leaf color typically. Because the leaf is literally black. Mm. Mm, yeah, which was weird. The brood leaf can be quite red brown. Mm. All right, guys, I see anyway. that I was wrong. Cindy's yes, tea trivia. Fernanda, yeah, tea trivia. <laughs> Everybody, tea trivia. Hi, Teapedia. Nice one. Uh, so, guess what time it is? It is indeed. Mm, da -da -da -da. I hope this works. Tea trivia. We disappeared. Time. Okay, that's failure number one. Failure number one. That's not the most. That's my teacup. All right, guys, don't worry. It's going to get better from here, I think. <laughs> Let's see if it works. We'll see. It's connecting. Tea sages in training. Okay. I don't know how this is going to work, folks. So, I'm going to Worst do... case, we have backup. I do have a backup plan. So even if this is a colossal, even if this doesn't work out, this is supposed to be going now. So uh, we're on the main screen. I didn't know I had to drive it from here. I don't know what I was expecting though. Tea trivia game. So I just have to get the next question to come up. I don't know how to advance the slide. Open the leaderboard, skip the game in, correct answer, next question. Maybe I press next question. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute guys, please bear with me. Don't exit. I wasn't able to do kind of a rehearsal, which is a little bit sad. You'd think they would be uh, having that. Well, here we go. It doesn't feel very intuitive, the setup. No, no, this part isn't. Tea trivia game duplicate. I have all the questions in. Oh, I wonder if it already ran. I think it might have run through. Oh, it's not us who control it? I hit start because I don't think it's us. So I'm going to just... Uh, Stop. I don't know what happened to there. Well, nothing bad. And then I'm going to restart and see if it see if it works out. See Give me one more second, guys. Dizzy. Oh, here we Ooh. go. So we get a 30 second countdown with a weird flashing white bottom. Let us know if it's working out for you. And it's going to start in 20 seconds. So I guess I should have put this up a bit earlier. So this is what happened while we were doing other stuff, I think. So oh. I'll figure this out, guys. It'll okay. get smoother. Only 10 seconds left to wait. Are we the tea sages? Yes, you are the tea sages in training. That was my <laughs> thought. I've never been a sage. Well, you're on your way, Cindy. You're on your way to being a delicious herb. Okay, here we go. Will it work? All Ooh. right, guys, here we go. So what you do is you type the number and then the answer, I think. But the number might work. So, guys, Tien Home is made with puar leaves from tree and bush. Two. Puar leaves from trees only, three, puar leaves from bushes only, and four, any available cultivar in Yunnan. Uh, so you comment one, two, three, or four, plus the answer text. I, I don't know how strict they are, so sorry the answers are so long. I'll try and make them shorter in the uh, future. You've got one second left to answer. <laughs> All right, so it's computing the answers, which is pretty what? cool. Yeah, it'll, it'll, you guys are, <laughs> if you want more time, let me know. I don't think it's going to, maybe it will still compute these answers that are just coming in. Cause of course we're seeing them after a few seconds. So let's see what it says. And the next question is 20 seconds. So we can talk about the answers and hopefully it will compute. All of your answers are rolling in. I see them all. Cindy coming in with four, Joseph with four. Oh, there yo. we go. This is super cool and it picks up your little icon and it says, so it looks like Fernanda got that one right and I tricked everybody with four. I purposely did that. I picked, okay, next question, guys. I don't have any time to talk. <laughs> but I purposely is, picked that. This is so rushed. Okay, so I'll, okay. I think I'm going to stretch it up to a 45 seconds to a minute, yeah, okay? So yeah. what is the most popular black tea blend? Is it one, Lady Grey, two, Earl Grey, three, Irish Breakfast, or four, English breakfast. <laughs> Joseph said, wow, this is like a sci-fi level of technology. Yes, right? I think that's what I felt too. So guys, um, I will warn you that the answer from this one comes from the uh, infamous Wikipedia. So, to, um, and it looks like it le leaves you, you have now to answer as well as... And, and you the, can still answer even when you change Yeah, you've the... still got 30 seconds here to answer. So yeah. uh, what is the most popular black tea blend? 
Is it Lady Grey, Earl Grey, Irish breakfast, or English breakfast? I see all the answers streaming in. And again, a warning, I did use, I believe I used, no, I don't think it was Wikipedia, but it was just a rando website. So I cannot be sure that I will be 100% correct, but I think I picked some pretty tricky. Oh, here we go. So two people got it right. Oh, it's, no, two pe a bunch of people picked number two, Earl Grey, uh, Joseph, Fernanda, uh, I can't see, JS I see, Dion, Igor, and, uh, and here we go, question four out of five here. What country was the original European importer of tea? Was it one, Italy, two, Portugal, three, Spain, or four, the Netherlands? And Fernanda, guess Frank. Sinatra. Yeah. Thumbs up if you love Frank Sinatra. They can't see me, so I don't know why I put my thumb up. I can tell them. We were supposed to be showing up. up in the background. That's why, oh, yeah. uh, that's why I'm a little shocked. But, um, oh, I think I know why. why? I totally know why. Um, uh, I just got to go like this. I'm going to try and fix it live. I hope I don't break anything. Did it work? Mm, didn't work. Doesn't matter. So a bunch of guesses are coming in and we're computing the answers. A lot of guesses. I did make this one purposely tricky because even I, I, I got to tell you guys, I wouldn't have got this. And again, I think it's a Wikipedia answer, but uh, JS, uh, Jesus and Dion got the right answer with Portugal. And I tricked a bunch of people. I purposely went with the Dutch because they were one of the early, early big exporters of black tea, even yeah. before England. So my trick answer got people. Wow, I would definitely go with I wouldn't have got it. Too. I was surprised it was Portugal. Yeah. And finally, the three steps for intuitive brewing. So if you watch our videos, you'll know this. The three steps for intuitive brewing are one, taste, assess, adjust. Two, sniff, swish, and swallow. Three, gargle, grimace, and gag. And four, <laughs> smell, look, and brew. <laughs> I hope you guys love those uh, fun this is, answers. This is auction style uh, tea trivia. <laughs> okay, so the three steps for intuitive brewing are one, taste, assess, adjust. Two, sniff, swish, swallow. <laughs> Three, gargle, grimace, and gag. That could be true, depending like on the tea. And four, smell, look, and brew. All right, so obviously a couple of them are pretty, uh, pretty plausible. Mm. At least a couple. Fernanda. I think Fernanda might have liked the gargle, grimace, gag too. And almost oh. everybody, oh wow, almost everybody got taste, assess, adjust. Okay, so that one is taken directly from... Uh, our how to brew an unknown oolong video. Okay, guys, Ooh. here's the leaderboard with Fernanda coming in with four correct answers, Joseph and JS in a tight second with three correct answers each, and even Dion, Igor, um, Jesus also had three correct answers. So um, for whatever reason, they didn't put you on the leaderboard, guys, but sorry. And then Johnny, Cindy with two correct answers, and Simmerji with one. Great, guys. Again, to remind you guys, right, this is all about goofing around, having fun. <laughs> it was my first, uh, that was our first, that was what I envisioned the tea trivia. Mm. Finally stuff got fixed and it works. I'm gonna stretch out the time a bit. I don't think we need it so intense, but I did like the Ooh. intensity, right? Wasn't that fun? It wasn't like that, yeah. And I, so I hope you liked it. Let me know if you have feedback about the timing, about anything. Um, I'd like our pitcher to be back in it. I think you guys, if you don't want our pitcher back in, let us know, we can take it, we can take it. <laughs> If you liked not seeing us for a few seconds, just let us know. Anyway, that was tea trivia for uh, for episode twenty nine. Nice, nice. <sighs> that was intense, huh? It really Holy feels cow. like you were in a little like a competition. Uh, Cindy even commented, I think that she kind of liked that. I don't know if she Ooh. liked that particular speed, but I think the the pace of this, at least it's cadenced. I do like that aspect as well, a lot. It mm. moves the game along. I like, yes. the, I like the accumulative scoring. Again, it's not really a competition. Mm -hmm. It's mostly to be, uh, oh, JS says, well done, Phil, it ran great. What a cool plug-in. Mm. So uh, yeah, thank you, JS. Um, and thanks everybody for participating. And, and again, throw out the guesses. I really love the guesses. Even if you guess one of my kooky answers, I will love it. Even though the uh, system's not gonna score you, I'm gonna score you with two thumbs up, okay? <laughs> so um, your pitcher would be good, but the intensity is great. I would put the time to one minute. 
Johnny, one minute, that's like eternity. That's 2x. I'm thinking 45. <laughs> But, but throw out your answers. Let us know if you think it should be one minute, if you think it should be five minutes per question, if you think it should be, you know, 45 seconds. Let us know. Johnny, I got your comment. I don't mean to shut you down. I'm sorry. But, he just uh, is so naughty. I'm just really <laughs> naughty. And I think at like 30 was close. I feel like it was close, but I'd like a little more time. And remember, there's time on the back end too, which was mm. 35 seconds. Mm. So what we dealt with today was 30 seconds and 35 seconds. So keep that it in just, mind. Just uh, when the screen changes, it gave me that feeling of rushing. That's all. Even though mm. the next uh, screen still have the question yeah. and answer there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And people need, that's the word people start entering. So I think that one needs to be about the same. Mm. And the first one needs to stretch out at least 15 seconds. I think I felt, mm. I felt so rushed. I couldn't have a little commentary. Mm -hmm. um, one minute would be good between questions. Okay. Mm. I think that's what we're hearing. And we can always try it out. And if we say, oh, whoa, it's a little laggy. Yeah, we're going to change that. We can that change it. it. We are in control here, guys. We are in control. You guys are in control. Let us know. We're actually the ones in control, but we'll be good. We'll do what you want. Fast is good. Don't give folks time to Google. Ooh, Cindy. Ooh. She was a teacher. She was a teacher. She knows. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to snap over to the book. Okay. And we're going to rock and roll right now. That was just me doing manual sound effects. I think everybody knows that by now. Sometimes those are the best. So here we are, China Tea. Episode 29, I'm going to revel in that for a minute because I'm amazed. I don't know if you remember episode one or when we did the trailer to this whole concept. Mm -hmm. We didn't know if we could do an every week series, but here we are, 20, literally without a break, 29 weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. We've gone through section one. Started in the summer. Huh? With its three parts, the origin of tea, um, tea sets in choosing water and easily brew and tasting relaxedly. Oh, I got it mixed up a little bit. We made it through part two and we're right in, actually we're not made it through part two, we're in the, towards the end of, excuse me, part two, uh, in the black tea section right here. Whoa, crazy talk in the black tea section. And we are covering these three wonderful teas today. All Gong Fu. All Gong Fu. Jian Hong Gong Fu, Zheng He Gong Fu, and Tang Yang Gong Fu. Um, and without further ado, I shall now read from you. I shall read to you from the book of Dian Hong Kong Fu, chapter 1, verse 1. Dian Hong Kong Fu is produced in the western and southern Yunnan, where both well known as Kimen Black Tea. Dian Hong Kong Fu characterized by the largest exposure velvet tips. The colors are mainly light yellow, daisy yellow, and golden. Different colors in different seasons. Lighter color in the spring show most and light yellow. In summer, the color is often orange. In autumn, is golden. Another feature is the mellow aroma. The tea produced in Nun County is the most famous and outstanding, where the Dian Hong Gong Fu smells with the fragrance of flowers. Shape tight and thick, color dark and moist, soup bright, fragrance high, strong and durable. The bottom of leaf well proportioned, red and bright. All right, guys, here we go. Let me unpack this. I think before we dive in the paragraphs and stuff, the first thing, because today we're talking about three Gong Fu tea, mm. Gong Fu black tea. There are Dian, Gong, uh, Dian Hong Gong Fu, uh, Zheng He Gong Fu, and the Taiyang Gong Fu. But uh, just want to, because we, when we talk about Gong Fu tea kind of thing, we're talking about the style of brewing. But Typically, then, right? Yes. Mm. So though all those tea names doesn't suggest that you have to use Gong Fu brewing to brew them. This is just their oh. name. The Gong Fu means that they take a while. The tea, the production take a while to do. Ah. And uh, if you uh, watched uh, like uh, two weeks ago when we introduced different types mm. of uh, black tea, uh, these all belongs to one type which doesn't have that Lap San Xu Chong, the Xiao Zhong. Uh, process of uh, their different process basically right uh, this three so, all belongs to one kind of a black tea one style of processing right yeah so let me just if I could quiz you because I actually thought this meant they're supposed to be brewed gong fu I totally fell into that trap ah. and not only that I didn't even notice to note that down as a question so but if I go back to where gong fu comes from right gong fu kung fu is how we often say it in English mm. just means mastery so in this sense, is, is that a good way to look at it? Like this means it's a masterful process of making Jian Hong, not a 
you know, it's you mentioned it was the style of the process, so it seemed like it's a careful. Is that is that implied there or not even? Uh, it's not. It's just a naming okay, that uh, okay. in general has the feeling that this tea take a while. Gong Fu means it take some time. Okay. Actually, when you mention that, I realize that the Chinese uh, is that uh, Gong is a uh, wrong character. Oh, this guy it, here. Let me yes. highlight it for the folks here, so they know what we're talking about. This guy right here. Yeah. So the, can you? Yeah. This is Gong Fu, and the character. This is Fu here. Yeah, Gong Fu. This means Kung Fu, like the martial art. Right, and uh, this part, just half of this part. So the eye. So, the eye. Yeah, the eye. <laughs> it's not really an just eye, but just so part, we can identify yes, it with just it. that part. With this is uh, the gong fu cha gong fu means it takes time. In terms of brewing, it takes time. In oh. terms of dian hong gong fu, those tea makes takes time. Again, this is just right. naming. It doesn't mean other tea doesn't take time. But did you say the whole character is kung fu? Yes, this side that you just highlight means strength. So, just to show them. Okay. So I see. This means strength, right? So when the gong with that, even though there are same pronunciation, so this character when it's kung fu is martial art, so they oh. are identical in pronunciation but different in writing. The one with this part. With the with the strength part, with the strength part with refers part. to physical skills like martial arts and stuff. The one without that part refers to time, like making it takes time. Okay, okay. Or and I wait you for a little bit. So, you can also use gong fu. So million dollar question is yeah. for brewing. If oh. I'm brewing in gong fu style, is it the character shown or just the left hand portion? What I, do you think based think, on what I said? Based on what you said, I think it's the character shown, because brewing is physical. <laughs> oh, but it's strength, so it's not. Yeah, it's not. Oh, it's, uh, it's not time. very physical, I thought. Oh. <laughs> it's more time so slow the, brewing, and old times uh, the mm. traditional gong fu tea brewing with that uh, Chaozhou style boiling water, everything is really a it's, slow, relaxing it's slow and thing. Ah, so yeah. I'm gonna put an X right through the. The strength portion of the character, so that is not part of the original symbol for Gong Fu. Already, mm -hmm. this has been, um, um, this has been really amazing, and we didn't even get started. <laughs> so that is that's actually you see how a typo can be so handy in terms of learning a little bit more about mm. that. Okay, so Cindy, I noticed a quick comment. She loves my sound effects, so I'm going to keep it up. Thank you for encouraging <laughs> me for being naughty. I love that. Um, any excuse to be cool naughty stuff. and make sound effects is cool. So in the first sentence, um, I had a. It was confusing. The first sentence. Dian Hong Gong Fu is produced in the West and Southern Yunnan. We're both we're both well known as Kim and Black Tea. So this is really hard to untangle because the grammar is so twisted. But I think I took a guess at it. It means it. Where is it? It is as well known as Kim and yes. Black Tea. Yes. Okay. This is a great time for me to mention to you guys that in the links down below is also the finished translation. So uh, go grab that, and you can read along with the original translation and our our translation of it. I said original translation. There's no, no original. No, there's no original. Sorry, it is our version of the translation down below, which we come to by Jen translate directly from the from the Chinese by reading by, and she particularly doesn't read the English because it. Kind of sways yeah, you, you right? will they throw it off. Yeah. So she just goes with the Chinese. She translates it, and then I try to f fix it for grammar, uh, which is uh, which is tricky for me as an engineer. But I do my best. So pull that up, follow along, if you uh, want to get the full enriching experience. Um, the next part that I found funny was the uh, largest exposure velvet tips. Like what? I don't know what this means. Dian Gong characterized by largest, so it has large velvety tips. I I don't know what it means. Uh, tips. Uh, this uh, in this book, I buds. keep calling tips are buds, uh, right? yeah buds right. and uh, uh, tea fuzz. Oh, tips. velvet means fuzzy buds. Yes. Okay, fuzzy yes, buds. That's buds. all I was wondering. Yeah. And right? it shows the fuzz. Tips. Tips are pretty much interchangeable with buds in mm. English, so that's decent. But I mm. didn't know what velvet and largest exposure. It sounds like it's a camera. It means it shows. It really shows. Oh, so in Chinese, the tea term is called xian hao. If this tea xian hao, it means you can see the tea fuzz. 
in dry leaf it shows right it's apparent yeah like below chun like uh, yes. silver needle yes because mm. a lot of the you brew up you look at the liquor there is uh there is those uh trichomes, tri trichomes but uh, you look at the dry leaf you might not see it mm. you know right but they're saying with Tian home it's there mm -hmm. right. okay that's cool that's cool and then uh i don't know this isn't a really this is more of a geography question mm -hmm. Yun County, I never, I never heard of Yun, that. Yun Xian, uh, the Chinese called Yun Xian County, I think we translate it's as It's probably about good, yeah, it's, uh, a, it's a smaller region, yeah. but it's not a Where city or in something. It's in Lingtang area, uh, mm, okay. in central to the north a little bit of Yunnan province, it's north of Puar city. So okay. it's a little county that was a, um, famous uh, for their tea there. Cool, okay, mm. but not a... Uh, you hear a lot about Yunnan now in the context of dark tea. So this city was popular in the context of Great Dian Hong. So I guess yeah. not as... And we talk about this a lot on the channel, that it's not really fair that black tea gets sort of a low sex appeal among the tea types, right? Be Actually, uh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, no, but okay. I just feel like today's week, it, uh, today's week, I mean, today's content is really great for uh, provide uh, some uh, historical look at uh, black tea because mm. a lot of uh, not a lot uh, several of the teas might not be the black tea that come first in your mind but mm. those are huge stars back in the 19th or 20th century so you know tea goes through time Dian Hong right. it wasn't uh, invented till the early 20s like 20th century, I mean 1930, 40-ish. Right. This tea just got invented with a very clear purpose to uh, expand a little bit uh, varieties of Yunnan teas because right. before that it's all poor. Right. And to be specific, it's all shen poor. That's what they do. And, uh, but they have great materials and very suitable for making black teas. So mm. they developed that to help with exporting tea. Little good, uh, like a little boost for their economy? Was that some motivating it at all for or just to help? their economy as well as the China's economy, ah, ah. especially in that time, right? It's right. the war time and right. the tea it has always been a major exporting, like a money maker right. for Chinese. Right. right, right. All times is tea and porcelain. If you talk about China, that's right. and silk, those kind of major right. things. Mm. Right on. Okay, so that's cool because again, in reading through it with my intent, just looking at it as a sort of beginner to tea mm -hmm. and trying to ask the questions, the historical relevance. I did. The only thing I noticed was what are all? Why are all these teas here that I never heard of? Yes. So that's it. That's the only way I kind of glazed over that, but I just kind of went with it. So, uh, and lots of those teas are still pretty major staples for exporting and making mm. a lot of a brand yeah. for stuff, even Kimenan. I'm looking forward to learning about that. Let's just quickly uh, pop out. I think there was a few questions and just see if we can um, address I really those. love the plumminess of this tea. Like, oh, yes. There's one thing in the text that says the uh, one thing. Feature is the mellow aroma. The translation is wrong. It's rich aroma. Ayo, I went to the wrong thing. Sorry okay, this uh, Dian Hong usually have a really rich and very prominent like aroma and stuff. It's not mellow. Trying to get back to the book here. Mm. Here we go. So, uh, it's here. right. So this is, Ayo. I grabbed the wrong book. So here we go. Mellow and eh. not mellow. Rich. Mm. So it's if you're following along, you'll notice that and we uh, aroma. Nice. I'm going to take my time with this. So we've got, um, I see a lot of comments for, uh, the. it's kind of torn. Um, folks like maybe Fernanda even, I'm go, we're going back to the trivia right, timing. Right. So we're going to look at all of those and really fast. try and factor mm -hmm. them in. But I see some people like 30, some people think minutes good, some people think a little jiggle up, 45, 35. So mm. um, we'll, we'll consider all of those. I'm going to literally go back and dig them mm -hmm. up out of your comments and try and maybe I'll just dump them all in and average them and see what number that generates just mm. to be nerdy about it. Mm. Um, so Cindy, Cindy is a teacher, Cindy rocks, yes. I indeed was a teacher. Are the colors mentioned the leaves as they grow on the bushes or the processed leaves? 
Mm, when that's I a good question. Maybe talking about the way the way the Chinese named them. No, Chinese is no, liquor color. Westerners. Talking about different uh, shades right. of. Uh, oh, uh, of the Jian Hong. Yeah, and I think mm. uh, uh, Fernando actually gave the right answer. It's a process. It's mm. after process. When you look at the dry leaves, they have a different shades of yellow, from the light yellow to deeper to the, and deeper. Right. Right. Mm, that's a really good question. Yeah, good question, Cindy, and thanks for shooting that out, Fernanda. You get another bonus point. And uh, Cindy, of course, loves the sound effects. Reiner, welcome to the show. So finished with work and now really happy to be here. Greetings to all. I've had, he's having an Angie Black uh, Bun Cha. Nice. Mm. Enjoy. That sounds really delicious. And uh, Angie Black. Bai Cha as black tea, not Ban Cha. Sorry for, oh yeah, yeah, autocorrect. Always gets those tea terms, right? Autocorrect is vicious with tea terms. Cool. That sounds so We Angie used to Bai. have that. I think the first year when we had that, yeah, it, yeah. it was the one of the black tea. We had we Chung Sing Bai Cha and uh, Angie Hom Cha or something like mm. that. Mm. 2014, whoa, those were the days. Okay, back to the book. Nice. Whoa, zigzag. All right. Mm. Next tea. Zheng. No, Zheng He. Not her. Sorry, there's a G there. Sorry. Zheng He Gong Fu. Zheng He Gong Fu is the tea bar which has the most special feature of high mountain tea of Fujian. The tea is mainly produced in Zheng He area. The tea gardens are most found in the old site of forest and the gentle slope. The soil is fertile and tea bushes grow lushly. Zhenghe Gongfu chews large Zhenghe white tea and lobular species. The tea is made from large white tea leaf, has more tips and strong taste, which is the top grade in northern Fujian, the lobular kind that made in small tea. The aroma is higher than semen black. And then just at the bottom here, shape tight and thick, color moist and dark, soup bright red, fragrance smell like violet, bottom of leaf orange red. I just want to dial back just quickly because I kind of ignored those. For anybody who's new, there are some confusing terms here like color moist. Uh, that is looking for dark and more like lustrous. Um, moist is not a color. Oh, that's so nice. It's a sweet and tart fruitiness. Mm, really nice. If you have tried our Dian Lu, the green tea, this Dian Hong and uh, Puar tea, like uh, three different categories. They are they taste, of course, different, mm. but uh, they have all have that uh, Puar cultivar undertone always there. Yeah, like that plummy, bright with a spice. It's mm. not a very clear which spice it is, but uh, it feel like a yes, more spiced feeling there, yeah. and that just every every. I think that's a tea. that's a great suggestion for a side by side, is uh, three of and we, well let me say we have that right the the process the, the process right. dark tea set is similar but this mm. is another one you could go ahead and do on your own is grab the uh, a Shan a Shu and a Dian Hong mm -hmm. um, and it's a great way to oh it's more of a cultivar digging yes. right because you're gonna realize okay the taste is really different but there is something and it give you the right level of how important that is you know the uh, we made a video talking about how to do comparative tasting that was a mm. kind of our first installment of comparative tasting get people familiar with the idea and how to do it at home we will have more comparative tasting videos which is a little bit more what yeah. advanced which like mm. in this case because uh, the first level i think the best w uh, the is to i mean the first level is to compare something that is minor difference mm -hmm. so that you pick out the difference when you sip them yep. then the harder way is found some things like different teas that taste wildly different but find the similarities in it mm. and also because yeah. they are so different, you have to brew them properly rather right. than straight. So that would be more of a level two comparative right. tasting. Not to mention the brewing techniques Re are requires all requires more brewing techniques. Right. So uh, 
But if you feel like to experiment and try for fun at home, go ahead. But we will be making video and explain how to do that more. Right. So Cindy is happy to hear about those comparative tastings coming up because she loves doing those. And uh, yeah, you're going to uh, let us know how it goes, Cindy. But I think from my experience, that's, this was a huge, well, like I always say, the two things that do it for me are comparative tastings and how to taste. That's another great video. You could focus in on those two things and greatly advance your tea knowledge. Um, Reiner, however, says that he wants my sound effects as notifications on a smartphone. So I'm going to make audio files and share them on Discord just for people who want to use them on their smartphone. Speaking will, of this, you know our I video. Will. Okay, okay. But this, this is, is okay. This is just for let's pull let's edit this out of when we put this on YouTube. This is an insider tip, an insider production note. You know what I'm going to say? I know say? exactly what okay. you're going to say. So sometimes you hear our uh, video and. Um, it will have a drop, like a water drop sound. And they usually with Instagram. Usually when the Instagram pops or up or some, uh, sometimes some important information of the tea that I, we wasn't Right, thumb talking. up if you know what we're talking about, right? Yeah. There's a little droplet of water sound and then mm. something pops up on the screen during yes. our videos. And that was made. Well, anyway. Don't be nervous, don't I'm be nervous. nervous. Right? <laughs> right, I did, I just recorded that and made that. What is so, that? Um, Do a proper one. Yeah. What? So close? Anyway, hopefully you got that. Um, anyway, oh my gosh, we're so goofy. This is somehow related to tea, I promise you all. Uh, okay, back to the book. So the last thing I wanted to say about the book was just bottom of leaf because I glossed over these. So if anybody's right. new, this is a w the way we've seen this. A lot of you have seen this already. This is the way that the book describes brood leaf. Okay, so it doesn't mean bottom of leaf. Well proportioned, red and bright, that works fine. So moist is lustrous, bottom of leaf is, uh, is that. So why did I go back? Because I already read this section, but they had the same things here. Again, moist and dark. So again, we can reuse those learnings here. Okay, now we didn't unpack this though. A man of many skills. <laughs> anyway. Shy. Okay, first, Jing He Gong Fu is the tea bar. Like this makes me think of there's a club where cool people go and there's actually a bar <laughs> that you pull up to and this gorgeous bartenderess will Gong Fu brew you the tea of your choice, the tea bar. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'd like a <laughs> Jing He Gong Fu, please. <laughs> sure thing, Phil. <laughs> right? What is a tea bar? Uh, it doesn't mean anything that you were imagining. <laughs> Sadly, um, in, in Chinese it says it's a strip looked, the shape of the T oh. is more of a strip looked. I, okay, you know, a shame on me. I think we've seen that already before with um, like with Wu Yi Yan Cha or something. It's like a, mm. it's not rolled, it's not a, like that, yeah. it's a strip. Okay. Yeah, you, like how mm. we categorize tea, we talk about mm. different tea time, green, Yellow, wool, those are based on process mm, yeah. and a final taste. Guanyin home would be considered this kind, strip, right? Yeah. Mm. But there's another way to categorize the tea depends on sh shape, round shape. We mm. mentioned that in previous tea book uh, as well. Round shape, yuan xin cha, straight shape, tiao xin cha, or curled mm. shape. Like it uh, depends on the look of the dry leaf. Right, jiu qiu hong mei would be maybe the last one, right? Mm. Curly, curly. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay, okay, so that threw me again. I got tricked by that, but I probably should have known. Um, <laughs> uh, then it says Zheng He Gong Fu chooses uh, choose the large white tea and... Oh, yeah, 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 that's why. Mm. Zheng He Gong Fu choose the large white tea and, whoa, lobular species. Um, I, took, I don't know the word yeah, lobular. No, I, I don't mean? either. I took a guess at this. Okay. I think they were... Cultivar. I said, I think these are cultivar references, but I couldn't even guess which. But I think they, if you're following along in the translation, you'll see that it's very clear. Mm. I think it was da bai ye. Zheng, zheng he da bai cha and da bai cha. a small leaf mm. cultivar. And small, which is what lobular means. I, I don't know if it really means that, okay. but that's what she's, she must be referring to the other mm. one, the small mm. leaf. So it's made with da bai cha, which is a large leaf cultivar, and mm -hmm. a small leaf cultivar. Oh, but, and they gave me a hint here too. And has more tips. In. So that's what made me think that tips the... Tips again meaning... Uh, buds, right? Yeah, tips how? means buds. Oh, it means fuzz? How? Yeah. 
Okay, so that's not quite right. Tips are in English. Because are that word can also mean the tip of something, the end of something. So that yes,、oh. so this book really presents the perfect example of Chinese full Chinese、mm. full understanding English and Chinese both sides, but cannot translate the tea knowledge well because they're not a tea person. Yes, and it double it's a double whammy.、Mm. So they understand Chinese, but they、yes. pick the wrong word for tips. Now you come over to the English side. Tips is a tea term that again not tea pe- people who aren't tea people will know,、mm. and it means buds. Oh boy! So you can imagine that that would be fuzz, but it's fuzz. Okay, more fuzz and strong taste.、Um, good. So that's a that is the essence of Sunday Tea Book. If、yep. you want to know why we're here, that's、yeah. exactly it. Very because it sounds right、mm. by the time it's all said and done, and that's a lot of the confusion in Chinese tea comes from that. Seems to be right. It all makes sense,、mm. but it's wrong. Oh, same, same with us. Same, same with, with us. us. We're totally on that page. Totally going to O five. Someday we'll be able to travel again. Sorry, we just jumped into a comment. <laughs> we got that one caught our eye. Yeah. And then missing,、uh, missing the white tea versus lobular distinction. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. And so I think we covered it. We don't. We can't tell what's different about them here, but now we can see it's big leaf and little leaf. And、mm-hmm. I think that even is kind of implying that the big leaf is fuzzier.、Mm. Right. Has more tips. Made from large white tea leaves, so I think that's captured. So、yeah. that's good. The interesting with the small leaf one. So the sentence basically what it means is、uh, the small,、uh, the the Zheng He Gong Fu made with the small leaf cultivars. Yes,、um, has that kind of aroma profile similar to Kimen. Here it has a higher than key. Yeah, it makes it sound like it's even better、mm-hmm. or maybe more floaty. No, is it more? Is it more just, just talking similar. similar? Yeah. Okay, so let's just put an X right through higher. Nah, wrong. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so not many. Only com- most comments are about my、uh, tea bar. About my noises, and then Cindy also wants to go to a tea bar. And、um, actually, that would be a pretty good intersection for all of us. If Cindy heads north, due north from California, she'll eventually hit Vancouver. Simmerjeet and、uh, us will head due、uh, due west, and we'll rendezvous in Vancouver at the O5 Tea Bar, and hopefully they'll have music just like what I was doing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to roll into the next section. Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Line up the page here. Tangyang Gong Fu. Tangyang Gong Fu is one of the three main Gong Fu black tea of Fujian Province. It was famous for wide Widely locations, productions, and exports, and was listed as the first of Ming Black Tea. It was said that Tang Yang Gong Fu Tea was made successfully in Qing Dynasty of Xianfeng and Tongzhi period by the one who lived in Tang Yang Village, Fuan City. It has been over one hundred years since then.、Mm-hmm. Shape: tight and thick. Color: dark and moist slash lustrous. Soup bright red, fragrance high, fresh. Bottom of leaf red and bright, so brood leaf.、Mm-hmm. All right. One of three? Question mark. Is one of three? Okay. Main Gong Fu black teas of Fujian Province. So because they said that and didn't give us the other one, I took a <laughs> guess. I said one of three. So I'm I'm assuming, and it's Fujian, so I've got a、mm-hmm. it's zoning down.、Mm-hmm. So I think that's Lapsang and Kimen. But I might have screwed up Kimen. So what are the other two? Is my question. Okay. Do you guys want to join me, or should I just reveal? No,、them? no. Let them、okay. chime in. We got to just talk about something else for a okay, while. Okay. We、we'll、continue、Let's、and、try. loop back, and you guys meet can... you there. Deal. Yeah. Trips are the best. Tea trips are the best trips. Oh yeah, trips. Auto correct strikes again. <laughs> tea trips. Yeah, we got it. Yeah is an obvious one for tea when it's yeah trips. <laughs> See if they can guess.、Mm. I'm trying to think. I think I screwed up the key, and I wrote that the other day. But I'm going to stick with it. I can't change my guess. I've already placed my bet.、Okay. Guys, place. Just、uh, let me organize the sentence so that you have the best chance of achieving、yeah. that. Or pull so, up the finished translation. Taiyang Gongfu is a one. One of the three main Gong Fu black tea.、Uh, I think the translation, what in English mean? Three main Gong Fu black tea. What does that mean? 
the major th- three most famous, I think. Three, the top three. Yeah, that's what okay. I that's okay. what I got the out of it. The top three Kung Fu Blatty of Fujian Province. Okay, that's good. That's why I one guessed, of the top three. That's why three. I guess Lapsung because that's mm. got to be one of the uh, unless, Kung Fu Blatty. Oh, oh, I yeah, I screwed that up. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, continue. We'll look back. Uh, it was famous for a wider location. It's mm, famous for. It's I not a famous for it. This, this is, tea is the top of Fujian black tea because it has the most right. uh, grow region, grow like anchor or grow oh. coverage. Like oh, that. see, I guess this meant it's made in a it's made in a lot of places, but that's wrong. It actually is has a lot of acreage growing yeah, it, yeah. growing tea a for that purpose. Of, uh, yeah, and uh, production quantity as well as the uh, exporting quantity. Got three most. Oh, okay. Okay, that's why it's uh, the top of Fujian black tea. Ah, so made in a, made a lot of it is produced, a lot of it is exported, and it's made widely in the in the air in Fujian. It's made in a lot of places. Hmm. Then oh. uh, Tanyang Kung Fu. Then there's a little story about it. Uh, legend has it it was invented around. Yeah, this was like, really confusing. Mid- late mid to late uh, 19th century mm-hmm. so that's why so Xianfeng and Tongzhi these two are emperors yeah old times how we dated is based on emperors Dyn- dynasty, dynasty emperor then, is old Nianhao right yeah. so this give you a wide range of time and this was to narrow it down because yeah. I, I couldn't understand that the way and it was which written. in the Chinese side give you more accurate 1851 to 1874 mm. Yes. This is those two emperor time. Yeah. So if so, you're following along mm. in the Finnish translation, we've kind of uh, distilled that out because for me it was really, I could tell it was made during the Qing dynasty, but then I was wondering why they call that Min Black Tea. Was that a dynasty too? No, we talk about Min Bei or Min Nan. Ah. Min means Fujian. Ah, mm. ah, so it okay. means Fujian Black Tea. Right. Min Bei is north of Min, North Fujian Tea. North of Fujian, yes. Right, okay. And In Ming, the Fujian, right? Oh, northern Fujian. Northern Fujian, yes. And, and Mingbei means southern Fujian, and yes. Ming just means Fujian. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. Ming is the old name of Fujian. So as an English speaker, we cannot, I don't think we could be expected to figure that out. It should be, it should be listed as the first Fujian black tea. Mm. Got it. So we got a guess for, um, we got some guesses coming in. Lapsung, Jinja Mei, Cindy. Uh-huh. Yes, top three, autocorrect. So that's about it. So like we can, but okay. I, I made a mistake, guys. Let me, I'll explain my mistake because mm-hmm. I guessed Lapsung. And as we said at the beginning of this section, Jen clarified, these are Gong Fu black tea, which describes a little bit that the process takes time to make these, mm-hmm. but it's fundamentally different than the Lapsung process and the Kimen process. So one of my guesses, both of uh-huh. my guesses, Oh, maybe not. Okay, anyway, you take or- over. Take okay, over. Okay, let's ah. organize this black tea. I think it it wouldn't be so confusing. Do you want the text up? Do you need the text? I'm gonna. No. I'm gonna go through because we're gonna chat for a while. <laughs> I think why this thing is so confusing is because the word Gong Fu is in it. Yes. And we're so familiar with that. Just like how green tea, everybody just imagine everything to be green, because that word is mostly used for that description of color, right? Mm. But that's why when we talk about green tea and anji bai cha, those kind of things, because of those right. the most uh, used uh, uh, meanings are in this kind of tea. So if you just uh, change the gong fu into any, any word, we don't know the meaning. It will be less confusing because you are learning the new uh, meaning in this context, context right. which is the case. So forget about the gong fu tea brewing. Right, and uh, what are the uh, major styles mm-hmm. of black tea? Three styles, uh, CTC ish. Right, cut CTC. Has, uh, those cut, crushed yeah. hair curl. Yeah, uh, the more confusing thing is a xiaozhong type, one type of green uh, black right. tea, and a gong fu black tea, gong fu hong cha. Ah, that's a great way to break it down. Qi men gong fu. Mm. Qi men Xiao- is also a gong fu cha. Xiaozhong. Is this is a style? 
outside yes, of Hongfu. Which is pretty specific, and because mm, that's the, mm. almost the only place that do uh, xiao zhong, that is uh, lap sam su chong. There are other places using the techniques uh, to do that, but uh, anything they do that will belong to this type of tea called xiao zhong. It's a type of tea. Wow. Like a gong fu is a type of tea. Uh, just right. to simplify, what's the main difference is Xiao Zhong has the smoke process. Mm -hmm. How does it dry? So you use the smoke to dry the tea. Right. While all this, uh, most of the Gong Fu ones are not smoked. So they don't have prominent smokiness. Some right. of the tea could end up have this, those notes, but never like, never like Xiao, Xiao Zhong. Xiao Zhong mm. cha. So there are two types. And this one is one of the top three Gong Fu black tea. So it wouldn't be Lapsan Suchong. I think uh, you gave them the wrong hint or something. So, mm. Oh, I did. Because I, I for, you're right. Kimin is Kimin Gong Fu. Yes. So it is that style. So I had one right, mm -hmm. but not the one I thought it was. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, so what's Taiyang the other one? Gong Fu. Uh, uh, sorry. The three. The Taiyang three. Gong Fu is also the very first Gong Fu tea. A lot of Gong Fu, Gong Fu tea. Gong Fu Hong Cha. Gong Fu Hong Cha, yes. Mm. Gong Fu Hong Cha. A lot of uh, other ones are learned from there. Even Kimen was uh, learned from the Fujian province, uh, pr uh, Fujian process, and developed their own Qimen Gong Fu. Right. So Taiyang and and what? Time Signature MMA is back with a holy <laughs> smoke. Right. <laughs> Love he it. should have the proper emoji. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We gotta make some emojis on mm, Discord mm, just for Time Signature. Gotta, yeah, yeah. We gotta spend some time on that. Yeah. Oh, um, don't. Uh, I already. Uh, I oh, oh. This is gonna come. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, then, what was I saying? Oh, Taiyang Gong Fu is the very mm. first uh, Gong Fu black tea. Mm -hmm. And uh, the top three is Taiyang Gong Fu, Zheng He Gong Fu, which oh. we just talked about. And Kimen Gong Fu. <laughs> Fu Jie. Province oh. matters of Kimen. Where does Kimen come from? What's going on? And Huang, I think. Yes, you're oh. My bad. Bailin Gong Fu. Mm? No, mm, you probably never. B A I space Bailin. L I N. Yeah, Bailin okay. Gong Fu. Also a location. Okay, okay. You, you probably never. Those no. are so, huge teas back in the time. Back especially. In the day. So I don't yes. know about you guys, but after this section, Oh, you're not looking at it. Let me come back here. After this section <laughs> of these three, Tang Yang, mm -hmm. Zheng He, mm -hmm. I, like I really want to go, okay, Dian Hong, got mm -hmm. it in my cup right now. Mm -hmm. I want to try all of these. And the one you said, what is it, Bai Ling? Mm -hmm. Bai Perfect. Ling. These, so this has opened kind of, for me, this has been so fun. Like I'm, it's opened the world of black tea for me a little bit because we've got... So again, like I think the best thing you said that really stuck with me, I just want to kind of go over it again with, the, with, with you guys to see if you're on the same page because this was a lot of information. And it's not just that it's a lot. Like you said, Gong Fu is a word that we're familiar with as tea lovers as how we prepare tea. But we got to throw that in the garbage and pretend that, pretend that the, instead of this Gong Fu right here, oh, you don't see it, but I it. This Gong Fu... <laughs> so busy, but still so have busy, to do right? the song. This Gong Fu could be replaced with like slow tea. Some other word, it yeah, doesn't matter. Or any Chinese. Tang Yang slow tea or Tang Yang, you know, whatever. Try to forget what you know about Kung Fu. It just means how this tea is made and this group of black teas, this subset of black teas are made with this. Same thing with the Xiao Zhong, you know, which is a little mm -hmm. bit different because it's predominantly Lapsang, but we learn about Yan, the Yan Almost version. Almost the same and, as the Yan Xiao Zhong, how, how quote unquote, you cannot take the word literally. Right. So. And now it makes me excited to go and dig into what were all of these old famous ones. So uh, yeah, those really are... fun to try and sip some of these. I would love it. Yes, and those are still famous. Like it's not like they disappeared or anything like that. It's just compared to back in the time, mm -hmm. in that uh, 18, 19, 20 century. Those yeah, turn are, of the century, yeah, last like century. Fujian, mm. Those are the major ports exporting. A lot of happening these are the money maker huge uh, in the tea exporting a lot of these teas have those uh, mm. royal loves 
from the European Duchess, right, right, uh, right. Portugal, but it's not uh, like a current talk about uh, 21st century's royal family thing. Same with how we talk about Kimen. Like for us, uh, I at least I feel it could be quite wrong. Just feel like nowadays when we talk about tea, feel like oolong is the trend or pu'er is the trend. But, mm, definitely. No, uh, I think you're definitely on Black has that there. kind of... Uh, black has taken a real back seat. Again, like Cindy is a, is a sufferer of PTDD. She knows. Um, did I get that right? I think that's what it is. Mm. Um, so post-traumatic tea bag uh, disorder, right? It, it puts up a lot of people off black mm. tea, which is really a shame because it is a great category. And now we've just discovered the depth is even deeper than we thought. We thought, oh, Lapsang, oh, Kimen, that's cool. Mm. And nothing wrong with those. But now there's these other super famous historic And they used teas. to use a lot in the blending and stuff. Like mm. I think English breakfast has a lot of Kimen, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think that's like, one of the main uh, ones. Like those were old times, a lot of exporting middle in the middle east part, like uh, like a uh, Turkey, Turkey, um, those, Iran, uh, Russia, Russia. A lot of mm -hmm. those seas were major exporting to those. Mm. Yeah. So, um, but a lot of so I'm not sure. There's some questions in the in the comments here about um, Ooh, yeah. About um, so Cindy took her guesses, but then she yeah. asked us if we could spell. I think Xiaodrong. So if you check last week's episode, it's there, and I'm gonna throw that out on Discord. I can't type in this format right now, but mm. I will type it out for you. So just to review, right? The style there's sub styles of black tea, right? Mm -hmm. Gongfu being a sub style. Mm. It's unfortunate that it uses that term because mm -hmm. we know it as a brewing method. Let me show you. We know it as this brewing method right here, Gongfu style brewing. But this is Gong Fu making style black tea. You can also say it that if you want to mm -hmm. use a bunch of words. There's a Gong Fu making style. There is the Xiao Zhong making style, which is the style which Lapsang Su Zhong has made. Mm -hmm. What's its Chinese? Its, its Mandarin name is uh, Xiao Zhong. Zhenshan Xiao Zhong. Zhenshan Xiao Zhong. Right? So it's right in the name of that tea. I think if, if you check like two weeks ago when we first dive into black right, tea, two I weeks spent ago. some two weeks ago. I spent some time yes. explaining the tea types with. Uh, if you go to our website, the uh, translation and all the names were there. Yeah, the thing is, the thing mm -hmm. is, when we did it two weeks ago, I didn't realize how significant it was. So now that we finished the section, ah. it's really interesting to see how these Gong Fu style of tea. It didn't fully sink in that that's a style of making black tea. This really drove it home. Mm, mm. Cool, cool. See, that's a, that's why it's a, so beneficial for me to hear your <clears throat> sorry, hear your feedback or any questions. There's no wrong question because, mm. like, uh, even happens between us, right? Oh, yeah. I was in, I oh, yeah. know that, and I try to explain and try to emphasize on the different tea types when I first dive in when I talk about black tea. Obviously, he didn't. Uh, uh, pay much attention not to criticize you don't pay much attention because you know something and you think you assume mm. what I said was something like that yep. happens when we yeah, have some knowledge about tea right. and start to assume things just like that, with the gong fu word yes yeah, so that start to shut down certain uh, nuance in mm. different words or different right. content so uh, when you guys ask the question or things there's no redundancy of mm -hmm. questions or Oh, that's so beginner. It kind of it would uh, give us, uh, especially me, some uh, hint or mm -hmm. some message that I received that, uh, hey, there is uh, some need to explain yes. that well or re-emphasize certain things. Yes, it's a good mm -hmm. reminder too to always, I'm going to be a little bit woo, woo but always have a Zen mindset, you know, always have the beginner's mind, you know, and that's really tricky the more you get into something, the more the beginner's mind gets rid of those preconceived notions, but it's mm. really hard. So um, uh, time signature MMA has got PGMD, PG moment disorder. PG is probably the worst tea bag tea I've ever tried and I'm not even a tea bag hater. Mm. Okay, What's fair PG? enough. I don't know, I think it's a brand. I think it's a brand. Maybe he's trying to be sensitive and not expose them, but um, NAHD, non-attentive husband disorder, yes. I have that. <laughs> we have a short form of that in our house. I call them uh, man eyes and man ears. Man eyes is when you're like, hey, where's the blah, 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 when you're staring in the fridge and it's right there. 
right on the shelf, right in front of you. That's called my man eyes. And then the man ears are what you're talking about, the non-attentive husband disorder. It's like... Wah, 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 wah. Surviving technique, huh? <laughs> Out the other side. So, um, just checking out the other comments. Um, <laughs> Simmerji loved the uh, PTTD thing. So hopefully that was, uh, I mean, for me, this was a great session. I love it. And it's almost every session I have that, I pick up something. Just like you said, it's never bad to come back and look at something again. You pick up something new. I got something new out of this. I want to find myself some new black teas that I haven't tried and restore them to their former glory. Um, maybe not that. PG Tips, it was very popular when I lived in England. Ah. ah. PG Tips. All right, it sounds like you need parental guidance to drink that tea. Bam. All right, so. What was that? That was a little joke about PG as a movie designator for parental guidance. Anyway, it wasn't a good joke. I thought it's a huge uh, corporation. PG That's is a all popular British tea bag tea. Oh. It's terrible. Their motto is PG moment. Ah, ah, got it, got it. Okay, cool. Didn't know that. So um, know. it's like the red rose of England, it sounds like. Or uh, So yeah, um, coming up uh, later this month, we're, at, we're halfway through the month and I have promised a session sometime, uh, an alternate live session other than Sunday Tea Book. I am ex re-extending and reaffirming that promise, although I haven't scheduled it. It will happen in January. It, <laughs> at this point, it may happen on January 31st, regardless of what day of the week it is, because I may just want every moment. I suggest to... you not to repeat that every Sunday. No, I'm so repeating that you... it. I'm repeating it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I like doing one extra live a month. It's fun to get with you guys. It's going to be just me and you. I'm going to... Kick me out. Maybe nobody will come. They're like, oh, she's not there. I'm not going. <laughs> No, I think Especially you're the if star. he wears that ridiculous scarf, <laughs> which I'm going to. I'm going to wear the ridiculous scarf. I'm going to try and look like a donut. I'm going to try and find a new one, which is even brighter. And um, and anyway, that's what's going to happen. So there's going to be Sunday mm -hmm. tea book next week. Let's have a quick look. Um, <laughs> quick look at what's coming up in Sunday tea book. Okay, guys. Yes, I already queued it up. Yellow tea, guys. We're um, finished the black tea section. We're heading into yellow tea. This is a fantastic, uh, little known, unfortunately, tea category. I'm sure you all know about it, but uh, remember, beginner's mind. Um, we're gonna hit the yellow tea section next week. Um, there's gonna be my uh, personal travel session, I think it will be, but who knows, I'll post about that. Um, by tomorrow at the latest, I'm also <laughs> committing to post at least when I'm doing it, tomorrow at the latest. Gen tea without gen is just tea, I guess. Yes, it will be tea. Sometimes we call it filthy, which just means like not clean and a little bit dirty. What, what filthy? Get it? Uh -huh. Anyway, Phil is going to have to wear a different scarf each stream. Hey, 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 budget, budget. Whoa, hold the phone, JS. Uh, what would time signature say in this case? He'd say, holy, holy. clothes, budget, Batman. Something like that. Uh, too much, too much. I can't afford a new scarf every session, but I'll maybe get a rotation of several. Um, when is this extra live? Cindy, I don't know, but I think it's going, but I'm going to announce it by tomorrow at the latest, the exact date and time. So keep your eyes on YouTube. Keep your eyes on all our social media outlets. That is coming up. Mm. Next week is Yellow Tea with Sunday Tea Book. And um, Do you guys like our live? Like, uh, I was thinking because we did some holiday special like Mm -hmm. Almost every week we go live and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, let us know if you want to see more live and more ideas. Because I was thinking in February we will do a live talk about what to do after the book because it's coming to an end. Mm. Have a yes. little discussion oh my gosh, I'm in so uh, excited. end of January, probably early February. And uh, if you want, you guys want to see more uh, live and uh, any topics we can just uh, hang out and have fun and yep. stuff tea times, anything casual yeah. tea times uh simmerji loves the lives uh we love them too so mm. if you do want more definitely let us know because the only yes. thing kind of holding us back is we don't want to bore you guys to tears so if you like them let us know mm. and you will we'll do them because they're fun for us uh mm -hmm. what was i going to say oh 
you were saying that we're going to do the uh, kind of what's next around end of Jan, early Feb reminded mm. me that all of the T-Book are now scheduled. So you can, right, I think we did them all. Mm -hmm. You can jump onto YouTube. You can click that notify bell for every single one of them. So every Sunday you'll get a little, hey, sorry, Reiner, it won't be a custom sound with my voice, but you will get a notification. Then we'll uh, let you know that we're about to go live and do the Sunday T-Book. So they're all up there. They end around the middle of February or something like that. So holy cow, we're gonna make early it through. March, early March, early March, early yes. March. So we're gonna make it through a whole book. I'm super excited. I'm yes. super excited to see what's next. Mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna have a little chat about that with you guys. Um, yes, and Cindy is asking what's the tea next week. I think we're drinking yellow tea. We are. I, mm. it's, it's, I think mm. it's Huang Da Cha, but check the, go ahead and check the live. It's already scheduled on mm -hmm. YouTube, so dig around on YouTube. You'll see it. It's right there in the title. Mm -hmm. I think it might be Huang Da Cha, but have a look just mm. to be sure. And uh, yeah, and hopefully we'll be sipping that together with you guys. Mm. Um, you can jump on now and uh, grab it and it will get there, maybe. Uh, who knows with the way the uh, lockdowns are going. And stuff. <laughs> no promises, but... Holy Q&A. Mm. JS, I've set up a bot in the Discord that sends alerts for YouTube videos and lives. Doesn't have Instagram connection. So, okay, so if you're part of the Discord, you'll get a little alert there that says we're going live. It's like virtual tea with company from around the world. Yes, and mm. I wanna say that again to you guys out there who join us uh, week after week. Thank you for joining us from, from Brazil, yes. from, um, um, from Spain, from Germany from mm. uh, the United States of America, from all over Canada. Mm. It is super fun. Like Simrajit says, yes. right? It's like having company and perspective. Yes, from, yes. Right? It really adds to this whole Sunday Tea Book experience by mm. having different cultures ask their questions. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we really appreciate, especially... And the same flavor on Discord. We really appreciate yes. that. And uh, we never... Uh, uh, we always encourage you to post any tea you are drinking from our company, uh, from us, or yes, from anywhere, any other anywhere. companies. Herbals, we're just uh, teas, yes, drinks, yes. everything. We love it. Mm. And um, and for you guys who English is your second language and you still get involved and and put out there, mm -hmm. I can't thank you enough. You guys show real courage and and spunk, and I love it. I think you guys are the best. And uh, thanks, Johnny yes. Loy says. Wait, don't engineers make high class, middle class? High class, middle class, and money. I'm not just tech set. What is this? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let me know if you find out. <laughs> For sure. The yellow tea is very difficult to come by where I live. Who said that? Oh, time, time signature. signature. Ah. Well, I don't know. I don't remember where. Uh, I assume you're from the Bat Cave, based on all the. Uh, no, just kidding. Let <laughs> us know where you're from. If if you're comfy with that, like just the country of being awesome. I guess he was talking about PG, so maybe he's in the UK. Maybe you're in the UK. Well, I, don't know. I feel like it was sent. Anyway, America. like somebody asked, who asked Johnny? Maybe. Mm. Uh, no, it was Daniela. Do we ship international? So yes, mm. we ship international, and we have yellow tea. So go ahead and jump on the site, mm. dial in your address, and see how that works out. Mm -hmm. It might be okay. Um, and yeah, I'm currently enjoying Japanese black Benifuki, Benifuki tea. Nice. Oh, cool. Black and Benifuki. don't worry, Cindy, oh. we're sending out a newsletter about all the uh, uh, scheduled lives and Sunday mm -hmm. tea books. I just need some time to think about our, they're more live and what are we talking about, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. it's coming your way. Yeah. Mm. I think that will make everything easy. Okay, guys. So. That Gotham is the uh, end of episode 29. He's from Gotham City. He's from Gotham City. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. So we are still sipping away at this black tea. As I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, like uh, quality tea tends to last longer. And this tea is still going strong. Um, guys, keep your teacups full. Mm -hmm. Keep your guy ones right side up. And until next time. Keep steeping. Keep steeping. Keep steeping.